hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video we will be setting up our firebase phone out project so that we can run it on our ios app since we have already covered the development of the ui firebase integration and phone out logic we won't be touching on those anymore but if you haven't watched those videos yet i recommend going ahead and watching them first to better understand what we're up to today I'll post the links to the videos in the description below. So before we begin, let's try first to run our app on an iOS simulator to check if Firebase is integrated correctly into our iOS app. So there we go guys, our app now builds perfectly on iOS emulator. But as you can see, I have encountered an error along the way. And I have recorded it while I'm fixing. So if you're conscious about it and want to know what the error is and how to fix it, then go ahead and watch it. I'll add the link to the video in the description below. So let's try our phone out if it's working. As you can see, we are getting an error because we haven't set up our iOS app yet to work with Firebase Phono. So this is what we are going to address in this video. Now here we are guys on official Firebase Phono docs. Let's see how to set up our iOS app here. And as you can see, it says here that we need to create a Pains authentication key. And configure it with Firebase Cloud Messaging. If you plan to deploy your app in production, you need to follow this. You have to go to your Apple Developers account, create an APN authentication key, and come here to read the guide on how to configure it with Firebase Cloud Messaging. But since we are not deploying our app in production, we're only tackling the minimum required setup. But upon reading these official docs, I'm wondering why Firebase didn't mention the basic setup here. But luckily, I created several projects that use Firebase Pono, so I know the basic setup. Take note down here, it says Pono number sign-in is only available for use on, on real devices and web. So we cannot use a real phone number to test our phone out on time later. What we'll be using to test our phone out is the test phone number that we've had registered on our Firebase console. Here are the minimum required setup to make our phone out work on iOS device. What we need to do is to open our app in Xcode. Then, in your runner directory under your targets, Go ahead and click on this info tab. And down here, at the URL types, you'll need to add three things. The first one, the first one is your revised client ID, which you can find inside your Google service info file. The second one is your encoded app ID found in the general settings of your Firebase project. And the last one is your bundle identifier, located here in your Xcode. So let's go ahead and add all of those and test our phone out again.
there you go. Our phone number is now working as intended. So that's all for today's video guys. If there are more concerns or unclear that needs more clarification, then please let me know on the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this.